Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Sai Physiology Academy, Dopa for short. This is the place where we make the learning of physiology easy, exciting and effective. Thank you for joining me. And if you're new to this channel, you're especially welcome. And if you love the content that we share, kindly click the like button and also the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't get to miss any new content that will drop. Now let's get started. So today we're going to be dealing with respiratory protective reflexes okay now what is the purpose of course from the word protective they protect you the respiratory system from foreign agents foreign particles things that are obnoxious that can be toxic that can harm the delicate respiratory tissues they protect you and how do they protect you from that sometimes when something a foreign agent tries to enter and go down into your respiratory system it wants to remove it out and it does that through two major ways in fact there are three it's just that one of them the third one is more discussed under the, the, the digestive system okay let's 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 list them let's mention them one you have the cough reflex you see that now the cough and you see oh, oh it's a reflex okay number two you have the sneeze reflex okay and number three you have deglutition reflex okay but deglutition we have discussed it on that digestive system the gastrointestinal system okay we discussed it there what is there is that it prevents things you take through your mouth from entering the lungs okay there's a reflex they expel the pharyngeal phase we discussed it sufficiently so we're not going to touch this one here okay it's more of the diet but it's protecting food substances from entering the respiratory system so it's also a you can also group it as a but it's discussed on that okay so we're going to be focusing on this two right here in this lecture right so cough reflex very simple whenever you're talking about a reflex the next thing that comes to your mind is the components of a control system or a reflex act you know that now you have receptors or sensors they will sense that something is going wrong and they will send that's just it's very straight to the point very easy very simple to discuss okay then then you send it to the control center control center through efferent nerves will now send it to the effectors which in this case they are muscles to carry out and implement the action that will restore balance that will protect protect the respiratory system so let's see the two and how they are different from each other now the cough reflex what triggers the cough reflex different things sometimes foreign part especially foreign particles that escape the filtering action of the hairs in your nostrils and mucus they help to prevent foreign particles from going but they are so that are so tiny and not only foreign particles, some of, even something like smoke and so on can trigger it. So the receptors, they are located mainly in the trachea and what? The bronchi. So there are receptors scattered all over the trachea and bronchi that once they are tr triggered, it will trigger the cough reflex. You see that now? and it stops so as it's going down the receptors are becoming more scanty that beyond or rather below the respiratory bronchioles you don't have any receptors cough receptors anymore so it's at the upper part of the lower respiratory system okay of the respiratory tract 
So that's that's for the receptors. Then those receptors will send what message to the control center that is located in the medulla. The medulla oblongata. Okay? So those that message goes through the internal laryngeal nerve. It's a branch of the superior laryngeal nerve. Maybe anatomy, you know that better. Okay? So that's the afferent, the internal laryngeal nerve. Okay? It sends it to the medulla oblongata that now interprets the message. And how does it respond? It wants you to <coughs> cough out. That coughing is trying to expel forcefully foreign harmful agents. Okay? So the medulla oblongata now sends efferent signals. Okay? Efferent signals through efferent nerves. And those efferent nerves, one of them you have the phrenic Okay, the phrenic nerve. You have the vagus. You have the vagus nerve. Then also you have spinal. Spinal motor nerves. Okay, so these nerves, they go to supply the muscles that will bring about the forceful expulsion. The forceful outflow. Very forceful. And how does it do that? Now, the phrenic nerve, diaphragm innervates the diaphragm and the diaphragm is the major inspiratory muscle when you breathe in it's the diaphragm that is contracting so it does what it will help the diaphragm to contract you first of all taking a deep breath when you want to cough then the next thing now there's now a closure immediate closure of the glottis okay closes the larynx the windpipe so there's a build up of high pressure intra record intra pressure in the lungs build up of high because of the it's closed you've taken in air now to bring out the air it closes it so that there's full high pressure then after that it now opens the glottis <gasps> and there's explosive expulsion it can reach up to 960 kilometer per hour explosive forceful ejection of air okay and that's through different bar <coughs> several times you can it usually will expel the foreign agent whatever is irritating it okay all right so i forgot to add something that in between this trachea you know the trachea is like this then you now have the bronchi like this at this junction it's called the carina okay so in this carina that's where you have so many receptors are concentrated the most in this point here the point of intersection division into left and right bronchi you understand that's just by the way so this is how the mechanism okay just explain it like this just put it in your head the, components of the reflex act so what you didn't just memorize are the nerves the afferent nerve the efferent nerve then the muscles okay respiratory muscles, especially the diaphragm closure of glottis and opening of glottis later exposure that's the cough reflex so we're going to be learning about this sneeze rhythm they are similar but there's very important difference don't go anywhere after this break Right, you're welcome back now let's just quickly touch the sneeze reflex so it follows the same pattern okay but the difference now is that this one the receptors are olfactory receptors okay in the nasal mucosa all right why this one is lower down okay trachea bronchia lower respiratory tract this one the receptors are in the upper respiratory nostrils or factory receptors okay they are the ones that sense irritants the same irritants okay irritants things that irritate the 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 receptors there okay but sometimes some other things something like maybe a sudden gush of very cold air can also trigger it okay but uh, just 
generally just say irritants trigger the olfactory receptors so it sends message through trigeminal nerve that's the afferent the control center is the same the same medulla oblongata okay but the afferent is trigeminal this time okay so it sends through the trigeminal and olfactory nerves down to the medulla oblongata and of course the efferent but it's different it's a little bit different the vagus is also there but now you now have the same trigeminal but the motor part of trigeminal okay you have trigeminal facial nerve glossopharyngeal nerves and all of that you know that so those are the efferent nerves that now go to supply pharyngeal trachea muscles and also the respiratory muscles okay so you do the same thing you take a deep breath but this time it's over an open glottis now this one is coming from the nose cough is coming from the mouth the forceful expulsion of air but this one is coming so you take a deep breath <sighs> over okay so the what is supplying is what makes the difference the nerves they are supplying muscles in the upper respiratory tract pharyngeal muscles trachea upper part of it okay so that's what happens so there's a forceful ejection abdominal muscles intercostal muscles and so on and so forth a little forceful ejection through the nostrils this one is through the mouth that is the difference okay the nerves that supply them makes all the difference but they are the same medulla oblongata so that's just that's just what you need to know it's not so difficult it's just for you to know one or two of the nerves that differentiate the two so one key difference if you watch these two so much both of them are expelling irritant agent from the respiratory tract but this one sneeze reflex does what it protects the upper respiratory tract from irrit irritant agents why this one protects the lower it doesn't want things to enter the lungs the bronchioles those the lower part why this one is protecting the upper part okay that's the difference between them but both of them are protecting the respiratory system from irritant foreign harmful toxic noxious substances all right so that's what you need to know about this respiratory protective reflex the degradation reflex is dealt with in the digestive system the videos are there you can watch them all right so i'm gonna see you in the next video